I'm gonna be doing a test with um, one of my alcohol burners. It was 10 degrees last night. It's 16 right now. What I did was I froze. I let it freeze overnight in this pan. I left the heat in the yellow bottle out all night. Um, I left everything out. I have a pot. With uh, frozen, two cups of frozen water in it, and it's frozen solid. But what I, I want to see um, how the stove is affected by the cold. Get these things out of the way. It's no fuel or anything in it yet, but. I want to see if the cold freezing temperature affects the performance, if it's still able to use it while it's freezing cold. Well, I'm freezing cold. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to go ahead and put some alcohol in there. See if it can. defrost or melt that pot of ice I should throw this in too so I'm gonna light it see how long it takes to bloom Put the pot on and see what happens from there. If my lighter can work. I left my lighter out all night. <laughs> I should have known. I got another one. lit my burner usually takes about usually up to 10 seconds but freezing freezing cold fuel and being frozen in I think it take longer <laughs> kind of windy out. Let's see if I can. Oh, it's starting. Okay, it's out of bloom. Let me just put the pot on, see what happens. Still going. Well, I can hear the ice cracking in the pot. Oh, that was a good test. At least I know it'll work in freezing temperatures. So I'll take the pot off. Show you the stove. I mean, the 
stove's going. It's not hot at all. I can hold it in my hand. Don't try this at home. But anyway, I'll put it back in here. I mean, the ice, I still got ice in here, and it's ice water. I can feel it, it's super cold, but it doesn't affect it. And it probably does, but not very much. I mean, okay, let's see. I'll drop it right in the ice and see what happens. Push it down into it. Got the pencil on fire. <laughs> 